It's official. DJ Reader is officially a Detroit Lion, man. He signed a two-year, $27.5 million deal. We said he could not leave Detroit without a contract, and Detroit made sure that did not happen. That's what happens when the Green Bay Packers want to go get Josh Jacobs and DeAndre Swift decides he wants to go play for the Chicago Bears, and then Aaron Jones just decides he wants to go play with Justin Jefferson. We not playing that. Y'all want to bring in Bulls? We building the wall. It is what it is. It's dangerous up front on the defensive line now, pairing him next to Aileen McNeil, who slimmed down last year, had five and a half sacks. We wasn't trying to win free agency. We trying to win the North, baby. <laughs> and it looked like it's going to happen. If you just take a look right down there, all you see is a monster at defensive tackle killing people on the inside, bro. Sacks in the backfield, that's not really his specialty, but he had two of them last year. What you're getting is a pure run defender, run stopper, and the Detroit Lions did exactly what they needed to do. It's not throw a bunch of money around. Two years, $27.5 million for the best nose tackle in the NFL over the past two seasons is a steal. Now, he's coming off of a torn quad, but hopefully we hire the best medical staff in the city or the, the state, the Midwest, period, because it's a lot of people. James Houston coming off of a little something-something. Marcus Davenport coming off of a little something-something. He's coming off of a little some some. Ali McNeil's coming off of a little some some. I mean, I we just gonna pray these boys eat their Wheaties because it's gonna be lit in the D. Pause. Let's take it to the uh to the to the to the. Let's break it down. I think this here is PFF uh, coming into the season last year. They the they had the Bengals um, defensive tackle DJ Reader ranked number nine. The top defensive tackle, well, one of the uh, top defensive tackles in the league, he was ranked ninth, um, and probably the best nose tackle in the NFL over the past two seasons. Like it says, uh, he plays a vital role in that defense. He had an 85 PFF grade in 2022. It earned grades of 69 or better since 2017. Uh, the vet had a career high. And this was the underrated part. This is why I had this pulled up. Uh, that 84.1 pass rushing grade in 2022 uh, if we can get anywhere back to that level of production uh, the big fella is 30 and he can have a monster year at 30 32 you know what i mean uh 31 years old that's not that's not too old for them trenches uh you know you just got that old man strength um so it's it's, it's lit it's lit it's lit uh and as a run defender uh we know what it is but he had uh, registered 32 pressures from 310 passing uh pass rushing snaps so he can definitely help in the pass rush. And that's you don't need a guy that can hit home all the time from uh, that interior pass rush. You just need a guy that's going to force him to Aiden Hudson because Aiden Hudson's on the edge fighting for his life. And then quarterbacks are just running, scrambling, dipping, and ducking. You know what I'm saying? If you can force that quarterback out of the pocket, force him right into Aiden Hudson's hand, he might have 15 sacks, you know what I mean? Um, or James Houston can eat or, you know, Marcus Davenport can do his thing too, but at the end of the day, that defensive line looks a lot more stout. Could still use a little more depth, I would think, but it looks a lot more stout. Um, and if they can, uh, if somebody can emerge as a true pass rusher next to Aiden Hudson, it might even be dangerous, man. It might even be dangerous. I don't want to hype it up too much, but uh, those are the facts. Now, you look at DJ Reader last year in 2023, we talked about some of his 2022 stats. In 2023, um, he had an overall PFF grade of 82, two sacks, 30 tackles. Um, I pulled up his um, PFR here. Uh, but it's just, uh, you know, missed three games last year, missed seven games in 20, well, six games in 2022. Um had a big injury in, in 2020, it looks like, two games and then one game. I mean, 14 games is okay, you know. I don't. I, you miss a couple games, I understand. It's a violent sport, you know, gladiator sport. You miss a couple games, it's okay. Uh, if he can give us 14 games, that'll be huge as long as um, those 14 games don't include missing time at the end of the season. As long as he's healthy in December, man. Uh, like I said, these are all welcome additions. I don't think we lost two. I mean, we lost Jonah Jackson, um, and we lost CJ GJ. But bringing in DJ Reader, Marcus Davenport, and Carlton Davis, this is a new look Detroit Lions defense. It's not going to look the same. It's not going to feel the same. I don't think it's going to be the same at all. 
uh, we're definitely gonna gonna um, you know if they stay healthy now if everybody I don't even want to speak on that if they stay healthy is is definitely gonna be a different look back there now they can still use uh, 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 Ennis Rake Straw out of Missouri to be that true number two corner let Carlton Davis hold down to number one Sutton uh, uh, Robertson Sutton Robertson great deaf on the inside and the nickel or on the outside, it, you know, it, whatever we can have versatile ball Hawks. If we run to run more zone, but Davis likes to run one-on-one. He said he's here to lock people down. So it is what it is. Like I said, they couldn't let him leave Thursday without getting the contract and they got exactly what they needed out of it. So shout out to the Lions, man. And shout out to the Liddy mob. It's up. It's really up. It's really up. Um,